showed 20 years of research in the field of glutamine supplementation uh, of premature infants, uh, very low birth weight infants, term infants. Initial results are showing very encouraging outcomes. And then big uh, collaborative studies did not prove what initial results had indicated. Can you tell me what is the effect of glutamine shown in the first studies and then what was not confirmed in the big collaborative projects? Sure. The first studies showed that uh, there was a, a decrease in uh, hospital-acquired sepsis. These are infections that are very commonly seen in premature babies. And uh, the uh, studies that were done, uh, in these very small studies, actually uh, uh, were done by giving enteroglutamine, giving it directly into the gastrointestinal tract. And uh, the first study that was uh, the biggest study uh, that was done uh, by the National Institutes of Health uh, neonatal network with 15 different neonatal intensive care units involved giving the glutamine by the parenteral or intravenous route. And uh, the way that was done uh, involved putting 20% of the amino acids in the form of just glutamine, but 20% of the amino acids uh, were taken out so that that experimental or the glutamine supplemented group would be isonitrogenous, had the same amount of nitrogen or amino acid being given to both groups. What, does, so, what does it mean for, for our uh, uh, doctors who are listening to us? That means to get less um, uh, essential amino acids? Yes, exactly. Okay. So that group that was getting glutamine was also getting less essential amino acids, including leucine, you know, the, uh, the, the essentials. And so not only was this group getting glutamine supplementation, they were also being deprived of some of the essential amino acids. On a theoretical basis and based on animal experiments, what should be the benefit which is related to glutamine when you give it to uh, neonates? What would be the benefit? Does it protect the gut? Is it anti-inflammatory? What does it do? Yes, it, uh, it, for both of those. It, uh, uh, it is known that uh, glutamine can protect the uh, uh, tight junctions between epithelial cells. Uh, if in the states of high stress, the uh, uh, junctions between epithelial cells uh, are prone to break down so that when they break down, the uh, bacteria and toxins in the intestine can translocate to the subepithelium, and that is highly immunoreactive, and that can cause a systemic inflammatory response. But if you can keep those cells together with their tight junctions nothing together, then nothing goes through. What is the future of glutamine? Where do we want to go during the next 20 years? Well, I, I think that uh, we need to um, take a step back and really think about uh, how to design better studies. I, I think that there's too much there to just abandon the uh, whole area of glutamine supplementation in low birth weight babies. And uh, uh, we need to think about how we can best uh, utilize glutamine either as a single amino acid, as an oligopeptide, dipeptide, um, and uh, what kind of a dosage we need to give to the babies and uh, what kind of a situation, not giving it necessarily to all babies, but just targeting to those babies who are the most susceptible to have uh, glutamine nutritional deficiency. Does it also protect the eye? Uh, at least theoretically, from, and with the, from the few studies that we have, it appears to be protective uh, in the situation where you have oxygen-induced retinopathy. Okay, that could be the future. Yes, that could be one of the, one of the areas, yes. Okay, thank you very much. You're very welcome.